what's going on guys welcome to another video episode presented by full tilt farming we are an online ps4 community so if you're looking for a community to plug into uh give us a shot uh seems like a really good group of guys that are that are more than willing to help out and uh there's also a big group of guys that need help as well so if helping's your thing uh give us a look we you can find us at the full tilt uh, farming under farming sim 17 under the ps4 community list uh, today we are going to be looking at plowing and fertilizing. Um, there's been some uh, confusion in the forums and a lot of other places, uh, especially with console PC guys, uh, kind of uh, fussing and, and, and arguing over which one is which. So we just picked up our Salford uh, plow from the store and we're actually going to drive us back down to the farm. And on the way we're going to kind of look at a few things while I'm sitting here waiting on traffic. I'll show this. Uh, game settings, you want to make sure that your periodic plowing is turned on and fertilizing states are completely optional. You can choose one or you can choose three, whichever one, but there is pros and cons to doing both. So let's dive in. Plowing is uh, was a little bit monotonous in uh, 15 and it still is in 17, but at least you're getting a good reward for it. Um, the way that the operates in 17 now is that for every time you plow the next four harvests uh, will get a 10% yield on that crop. So let's say, you know, let's just say you've got a field, you yield up 100,000. Just by plowing it, you will get that 10%, which is 110,000 yield every for the next four. So instead of getting 400,000 uh, for the four crops, you'll get 440,000 for those crops. So just a little simple math to kind of give you an idea over four crops you're talking about a 40 percent yield in total and that's pretty awesome uh, we never had that option in 15 so that brings us in 17 where it's completely viable and completely doable uh, it is a little bit kind of monotonous uh, activity but so pretty much as everything else in farm sim which is why we love it uh, you can see here and i can chill and i can do it um, fertilizing on the other hand has gotten a huge overhaul so as we looked at that one state now we're going to look at we our next video coming in is going to really dive into the missions which is going to be something that we're going to kind of correlate and kind of run the fertilizing part into because you can actually do a lot of fertilizing missions outside of it so doing missions kind of give you a better understanding of what you're looking for so i'm going to kind of recap just a little bit in that video as well so make sure you check out missions and i'll explain how the two uh, correlate with one another and how you can really look to maximize your payout uh, for the least amount of time uh, just because that's 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 our model in this game we, we don't want to we don't want to cheat the game we don't want to break it we don't want to exploit the stuff in it but we want to try to maximize our use of time so looking at fertilizing states in this so if you got one or three so in 15 y'all remember that we would pretty much do cultivating seeding and then we would immediately go right after that and do a fertilizing state now in 17 we have the option to do one or three one still acts the same so somewhere between harvest to harvest you have to do one fertilizing state and you will receive a 30 percent bonus um, now that i'm not sure what the percentage was in 15 because we never really had at least i never had access to that kind of info so um, looking at it from 17 that seems to be the consensus that that is 30 percent yield so now we have the chance for three times fertilizing, which basically means after harvest, fertilizing, cultivating, uh, fertilizing, seeding, or if you're cultivating and seeding together, you would fertilize after that and then after the first stage of growth. So looking at uh, just your map view, this is where you want to look at the growth chart. So as you can see, we've got a couple of fields that are in the green. We've got four stages of growth in 17, which I think we only had three in 15. I could be wrong, but we have four and they're actually labeled. So you actually get a kind of a heads up here as to see what is actually being done on the farm. What are the fields around you doing? So if you want to do missions, you can kind of see which ones are different growing phases. So if we were growing things on 12 14 and 15 and we'd already uh, fertilized after the harvest and then we'd fertilized um we had one that was cultivated and let's say we had one that just been harvested we know we can do the first one then we can actually see on those without having to drive to the field we could pull up this growth chart we can actually see which ones are in what stage so that way if we need to if we need to catch 
a fertilization on say field 14 uh, we can go do that uh, without having to always be driving a place so use this growth this growth map in the map overview this is an invaluable tool that they've added it's it's great um, I love using this and being able to organize and keep everything in check so uh, as we get up here to the field and we're gonna actually put this plan I actually kind of got a little bit started here um, then I decided to switch up plows and go try something else so we'll uh, we'll get this thing started so uh, as you're looking, you say, well, when do I need to absolutely fertilize? So I think I'd kind of just recap. You want to do after you harvest. So once you get done pulling all your seed and getting it all put into your, your silos, you want to fertilize after that harvest before you plow or cultivate. So you could fertilize, then you could plow if it's your time to plow. Then you could cultivate and do it. Then you could seed and do it. Now that takes care of your three fertilizations and your plowing. Now they say, well, what if I have a cultivator and cedar combo? Whether it's natural fertilizer, that's, a, that's an, an option. Whether it's you putting granular after, whether you put natural fertilizer, it does not matter. You just want to make sure that whatever step you're in is getting a fertilization stage. Uh, whether it's a combination or whether you're doing it because uh, you're doing it by itself, aside from cultivating or seeding. Um, so if you got a cultivator cedar, then after that first stage of growth, which is that very lightest shade of green, that's when you want to put down some fertilizer. Uh, and that should be, if you did everything up until then right, that should be uh, your last time to do it. Now, say, well, what's the incentive to doing that? Well, you get a 30% increase in every single fertilization stage. So if you do it three times plus plow, you're talking about a complete 100% return on top of the crop. So I guess and really in the mathematical sense that would be when you walked out in the field and in the first plow did all your fertilization states that is a 200% return back to you to put in the silo at the end of the day. Um, and that is great because let's just say price wise let's say you do 20,000 pounds uh, of a particular crop let's say you're taking sunflowers down to the Denton bakery it's selling for 1355 a ton so if you're taking um, if you're taking a, a hundred uh, let's say you're taking a hundred thousand pounds of sunflowers at 13,000 then it's 50 tons so now you're talking somewhere around fifty sixty thousand dollars then you talk about adding on a complete two so you're 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 literally going to be out of the one field you're going to be taking almost a hundred thousand dollars worth of sunflowers by properly doing the plowing and properly doing the fertilizer like you're supposed to so you can either sit over here and grind away on this farm doing the same three things cultivate seed harvest cultivate seed and harvest or you can add some of these extra things in plowing takes a little bit longer but it's a pretty cool process especially when you get to the bigger plows it, they are pretty awesome pulling those behind those big massive machines so uh, keep that in mind um, if you've got questions on this now if you've got to say well can you do it after this can you do it after this if I don't know the answer I will find out for you and I will get back to you and I will comment back in the comment section um, but that is it for this for this video be on the lookout for the next couple because we're going to cover missions and we're also going to uh, be looking at a few other different aspects to looking at the missions from the fertilization process from the cultivation and seeding not just harvesting um, harvesting seems to be where the money is in missions we're going to kind of give you a few different options to neither play with or at least contemplate as you look at those missions in in totality so Please join us for that next video. Uh, as always, uh, we'd love to have some feedback from you. So give us a like, comment in the comment section, uh, subscribe, share. But until next time, that is it from all of us at Full Tilt.